raised $3 million for the union busting Stanford Children Group in December. And then Stanford Children went to Springfield to break the Chicago Teachers Union. No strikes, no negotiations on anything except wages. It's the Pritzkers who own the Hyatt Hotel that are bankrolling these people, not the Coach Brothers from Wisconsin. The Coach Brothers from Wisconsin are doing Wisconsin. The Pritzkers from Chicago are doing it to us here. So you're here together with the, uh, uh, the hotel workers. That's right. Uh, Unite Here Local One, they have all the cafeteria workers in the public schools. We have most of the teachers in the public schools. That's a lot of power collectively. Um, Unite Here's workers make less than poverty wages in the schools. And then you got the Pritzkers who are trying to destroy our collective bargaining. The state level, worse than Wisconsin. They don't want us to be able to strike, period. And then simultaneously not paying their housekeepers adequate wages at the Hyatt. So they're a real bad actor. We got to expose them for what they are. They fund the Democratic Party. So it's not just the Koch brothers on the Republican side of things that are doing damage. It's the whole spectrum. And workers got to stand up independently and say enough's enough. Todas acá, mis compañeras, somos recamareras de Hyatt. We are all here as housekeepers of Hyatt. Y venimos acá para darles un mensaje. We have one message for you. Quiero hacerles saber que la familia millonaria de los Priskers, quienes son los dueños de los hoteles Hyatt. See, we want you to know that the billionaire Pritzker family of Hyatt. Ahora están financiando organizaciones que atacan a los derechos de las uniones, de they, los maestros. They are now, the billionaire Pritzkers are now financing organizations that are attacking the teachers unions and their rights. Eso quiere decir que los millonarios Pritzker son los mismos que nos atacan a nosotros las recabareras. That is to say that the same billionaires are attacking you, the teachers, that are attacking us, the housekeepers. Por eso, la lucha de todos los maestros también es la lucha de nosotros. And that's why the, your fight, the teachers' fight, is our fight, the housekeepers' fight. I want to thank the Pritzker family for uniting us all here today. It's not enough for them to go after the workers in their hotels. They have to go after teachers and support staff and other education professionals. They don't want you to have a voice in your workplace. They don't want us to advocate for children, but we're not gonna stand for that. We are out there now, we're fighting, and we're never gonna give up our rights to bargain. Right. Look at that sign over there. It says it all, Hyatt Regency, top 100 workplace by the Chicago Tribune and Cranes. No wonder. Oh. This is about not just teachers and other union workers. This is about the middle class in America. It's about everybody who deserves a fair wage, everybody who deserves retirement security. Illinois is a union state, and everybody deserves the rights we have. Let's go get them! Now in March, the IEA had to move its representative assembly out of the Hyatt Regency O'Hare because they don't have a contract and we wouldn't meet in a hotel that won't give the workers a decent contract. We are scheduled, the NEA representative assembly is coming to Chicago this summer. We are scheduled to stay here. If you don't have a contract unite here, if you aren't settled with a good contract, we're not staying at this hotel either. We're scheduled to stay at this hotel for the NEA RA this summer. We will not stay at this hotel if our brothers and sisters in Unite here do not have a settlement and don't have a contract they deserve. Do you think the rally today and all that we've seen going on around the country in Wisconsin so on is a sign of a new type of labor solidarity that maybe has been missing in the past? Yes, I think it's a reawakening for many, many Americans that there are corporate powerful interests that are one one group at a time leveling us all down 
turning this society into a race to the bottom. We're ready to turn it around and start having a rising tide that raises all boats. For one ticket all the way around the building next time. We got the building surrounded. We got a thousand people. We got one ticket all the way around the entire building this time. We're just going to go one direction all the way around the whole building. We got the building surrounded. And this is our effort to try and fuse our, you know, grassroots power. We outnumber them. You know, the 1,200 billionaires in the world cannot set policy and tell everybody else what to do and to eat crow. And we're sitting here, there with, you know, filet mignon and we're with chopped liver. We can't live like that. The haves and have-nots is not sustainable. So I think, you know, we're here today to tell the Pritzkers, stop funding the destruction of the public sector, of good union jobs, of good public schools, and keep your money and your politics out of our community uh, and, and let's get them to pay their taxes so that we can afford the services that we need.